abortion camps hoping to pray away the gay. So Chad McMoore lives in Brooklyn. He spent years writing for Out and The Advocate. He no longer does. Instead, he joins us tonight. So you, uh, you've been in this world journalism, been on gay politics a lot for a long, long time. And you watch something like this over the weekend and your reaction is what? It's almost become a point of uh, kind of a depraved fantasy on their part. They actually believe this could happen, that, that Mike Pence uh, wants to do this. Uh, it, 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 he's, so, he's sort of uh, using the exact same script as that, uh, that, that bedazzled figure skater during the Olympics, Adam Rippon or what have you, going after Mike, uh, uh, Vice President Pence because they're really searching for homophobic monsters in the administration and the best thing they can come up with is Mike Pence, who has to suffer through, I feel very bad for Mike Pence. He, he handles these attacks with uh, such grace and such decorum. I really don't think that there's anything homophobic about Mike Pence. They don't even know why they hate him. They don't even know what uh, this, these uh, pray the gay away camps, that argument was about. It was a complete fantasy. Um, he, he never, uh, this, it's almost something 20 years old that, that was a, a uh, he supported a therapy uh, 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 for people who want to change their sexual behavior. It had nothing to do with uh, gay people specifically, yet they've latched on to this and, and Mike Pence has become their their go-to scary boogeyman. But, but, but did he call for concentration camps and I missed it? I mean, not that I'm aware all of. made up? Okay. I, I think it's all, I, it's, I believe it's all made up. I, I, and you know, unfortunately, he, they want to believe he's capped in electroshock therapy and that one's not true either, unfortunately. Uh, these, uh, they, they, they just can't, they can't uh, come to terms with the fact that um, people really don't care about homosexuality anymore in this country. It's, it's very rich also coming from uh, Brandon Wolf, who's a Pulse nightclub survivor, right? Uh, Pulse nightclub was not attacked by the radical Amish. The person who attacked Pulse Nightclub did not ple pledge his allegiance to the uh, Episcopalian Caliphate. And there is a very real problem. There is a group of people in this world that, 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 does, that wants to harm gay people, and it's not Christians. Well, who is it? Tell me, you've got, now I'm intrigued. I believe it's this, this political movement called uh, Islamofascism. I, I think that oh. what it might be. I think Omar Mateen may have, may have been a Muslim, but, I, but I'm not entirely sure. We should ask Brandon uh, how, he, how he thinks about that. So if there was a group of people, heavily armed, well-organized people who sought to kill you, you'd probably want to name them and oppose them. Why wouldn't Brandon Wolf be doing that? I don't know. It's almost like it doesn't fit in with the leftist narrative. So you kind of have to be lockstep. Uh, it's it's very rich that. Joy well, wait. So, so, so whose behalf is he working on? I wouldn't know. I think he's just working on behalf of uh, MSNBC and the Democratic Party. I really, oh. I'm not sure it has much to do with gay people. I don't know. Oh, so he's not it's, actually it's, a civil rights activist. He's a political hack who will say anything to get his candidates elected. Is that I what you're saying? I think that may be it. I think you might be onto something there. It's, oh, it's, okay. it's shocking, I realize. It's, it's, it's incredibly shocking. Uh, but but that might be what's <laughs> happening here. Yeah. Thank you, Chadwick. I knew you would explain it. Because I was watching this, I was thinking, really? Concentration camps? You know, I don't know. I can't catch all the news. But I appreciate your clearing that up. Thank you very much. <laughs> Great to see you. you President Trump took another shot at NFL players who kneeled for the national anthem. Did the NFL hear it? What is their view on that these days, by the way? The latest with Dave Portnoy of Barstool Sports coming up.